Oh, this ought to be interesting. This is hard to do when you're not filming it. <clears throat> I gotta untorque this rod here. Tangs are down. And these things here, they I can't stand them. We used to have snap rings when I was learning all this stuff, and then all of a sudden these things came along overnight. I always pull these apart a little bit. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the right thing to do, but I do it. They're hard enough to get in as it is, let alone while you're filming. I always imagine the guy that invented these looking like that uh, Dwight from The Office. This is somebody that likes to hassle you. Or doesn't know how annoying they are. I pull on these enough to where they they spread out a little bit, but not enough to where you can feel them bend. There's a little bit of a difference there. Once you get them to go start in, they go in pretty easy. Still, I'd rather I'd rather run snap rings than these things.
after you get it in there, you, you want to make sure that your wrist pin will still move. And you want to make sure that it's still got end play. Somewhere in all the paperwork here, my dad had a copy of, uh, I guess they were called the uh, GT40 engineering papers. And, uh, you know, there was like the, this, all the data that they accumulated testing the GT40s. You know, they had, there's like this video floating around of, uh, you know, they ran the engine a full 24 hours of Le Mans race on the dyno before it ever went in the car. Um, one of the things that came out of those papers um, was they went in and took all the end play out of these wrist pins and it would run the whole race on the dyno. And then they'd take the engine apart and there would be cracks in the piston around the wrist pins. It didn't fail, but it would, but there was cracks there. And when they went and put the end play back, back in after the race or after the session, it was still okay. So that's one thing that came out of that, that research. And the other thing that came out of it was doing that to the bearings. So I'll have to see if I can find that. But that's how that's all there really is to putting them snap or spiral locks in.